attack from the Civil War. Yes, whether it's expeditions, famines, wars, or student debt, this is what we bake in times of crisis. We start with two cups of flour, half cup of water. I bet you thought there was more. Nope, there's not. That's right, this is the most basic recipe in the history of history. Talk about stretching a dollar. This is some spandex level stretch. <laughs> Oh, you're gluten-free? Sorry, all we have is gluten. We cut them into sad little squares. Time to poke some holes. You know, these kind of look like graham crackers, if graham crackers were made out of drywall. We then bake these boys at 250 for upwards of four hours to remove most of the moisture. And that's how these will last longer than even the most talented of men. Dude, these are roof tiles. Well, this is a first. <laughs> Y'all really said Ford tough. Just aggressive. I mean, it doesn't taste bad. It's bread. Danger bread, but bread. Now, of course, you shouldn't eat them dry. But the taste is the same. Deep fried cookie dough from 71. It's known that here in America, they'll deep fry anything that isn't bolted to the earth, including zucchinis, hot dogs, and several species of large bird. To a half cup of butter, we add two thirds of a cup of sugar. <laughs> You come into my house! Never. One and one third cup flour. And a cup of chalky chips! Mix! There's no floofers! They don't bake these, they'll go be flatter than my butt. Chill time! Now for the batter, we need a cup and a quarter of flour. A teaspoon of floof powder. Quarter cup of sugar. One cup of moo juice! Then a tablespoon of vegetable oil. You don't want any lumps! I fry with peanut oil, because it's correct. Are you ready to die? Yeah, me too. One, two, three! Mm, man, this looks incredible. This is perfection. I don't know what else you want me to say. Whoopsie, they're gone. Baked apples from the Great Depression. Yes, folks, fall has fallen and it can't get up. So nothing quite says autumn like an apple, except pumpkin or seasonal depression. First, we core the apples. I'm using Honeycrisp apples, but you guys can use whatever you want except for the red mushy ones. Those are for psychopaths. Make sure not to go all the way through. For the filling, we need some sugar. Simming them. And if they can be afforded, oats. <laughs> Living large tonight, boys. We got oats. I'm not making fun of the Great Depression. I am making fun of the Great Depression. <laughs> Into a baking dish. <laughs> Pat of butter on top. And finally, a bit of water. 350 for a half hour. So they look dead, but my house smells amazing. I would bake this just for this smell. Febreze who? Now how do I eat it? <laughs> Fall, winter. Fireplace is beautiful. The very definition of simple yet brilliant. A roughage loaf from 1892. Now my first thought was who comes up with this? And then I took a look at the front. My man looks like he does taxes for fun. We start with an entire cup of wheat germ. Roughage is what dead people call fiber. And this is enough to incapacitate one medium child. Half a cup of flaxseed. You sure this wasn't meant for a bird? One cup of buttermilk. And a cup of molasses. This takes a while to come out. Don't worry, I did too. Mm. Then we leave this to soak for half hour, just to make it edible. Half cup of prunes. No, of course it's the prunes. What else would it be? This man's really out here making people B-52 their toilets. This is either gonna plug you up or bring the morning thunder. Your boy said friendly fire. Cup of whole wheat flour. Have you no mercy? A teaspoon of floof soda. Get in, prunes! Ugh. This is culinary terrorism. 350 for 40 minutes. When I tell you that this is a brick, I mean it. It is a piece of masonry. Ooh. Tastes like a bookshelf. Books included. That is bad. A Snickers salad from 1974. Yes, this is one of these salads, which definitely isn't a salad because America is unsupervised and they can't be stopped. We start by chopping 10 ounces worth of Snickers bars. Hey Dylan, what you doing? Oh, I'm just making my salad. You know, with the, with the chocolate bars. Come on. Cup of cold milk. Mood juice. Two packs of vanilla pudding. Uh. Four Granny Smith apples. That's for what? Solidarity? Granny don't deserve this. Whatever happened to respect your elders? Now into the pudding goes a tub of Cool Whip because we don't give a shit. In goes the apples and the Snickers. Oh. You don't measure this in calories. No, you measure this in years taken off of your life expectancy. For best results, chill. You need to chill. <laughs> Is it good? No. Is it bad? No, it's sugar. Go ahead, feed this to a child. You're gonna yeet them into orbit. Goodbye, Johnny. Post-terrestrial. Where's Johnny? Johnny is gone. A gooey butter cake from the 1930s. We start with a cup of flour. Third cup of butter. 
Paper! Dash of sugar. You have to look like breadcrumbs. I don't know what type of bread y'all eating. We then press this into a square pan and cast aside, which is dead people talk for put it away. Time for the filling. That's the perfect name for a baking themed only fan. First is three quarters cup butter. Cup and a quarter of sugar. Butter go butter. One egg. This thing's popping. Now we alternate between adding a cup of flour and because it's the 1930s, two thirds of a cup of evaporated milk. Flour. Ooh. Quarter cup corn syrup. Will be done by Christmas. Vanilla. Whoops. That's a lot of vanilla. I'm guessing the flavor profile is going to be cholesterol. Powdered sugar. 350 for a half hour. You know, some dishes aren't amazing, but they are innately comforting. And this is a prime example, like a hug on a plate. Wow. A jellied meatloaf from 1931. We begin with a pound of ground beef. You don't want the sky beef, that would be scary. Fire! Who's mooing now? Strain it and let it cool. It's not dinner time until you add a pack of gelatin to some water. Mmm. Onion and celery. 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 <laughs> you know what stings more than a knife, Mr. Onion? Rejection. Now two cups of chicken stock. Time to boil. <laughs> Strain the stock into the gelatin. No veggies allowed. Thank you for your service. Mm. Now that this is thick, we add in the beef, pimentos, and then we mix. This is revolting. No, no, no. What a joy. Mm. To the fridge. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> Incorrect. It's a cat food recipe. Choke. A blancmange from 1901. Now, blancmange literally translates to white dish, and judging by the lack of spices here, it certainly is uh, Caucasian. We start with one and a half pounds of almond milk. Since I'm not daft, I've converted that to three cups, one of which goes into a saucepan. The gentle peel of a lemon. Easy there, Shakespeare. Serenium! Nope, I lied. Sticks of serenium! Ah! Half cup of sugar, quarter cup of cornstarch, then the two cups of almond milk. Vigorous whisking! What counts as vigorous? Now that this is simmering, we add this in. I have no idea what's going on. No! It's all thick! Call the police! Mm. No spices for you! Now into serving dishes. How specific? Into the icebox overnight. Well, I don't have an icebox because I'm living. Best I can do is a fridge. Good morning. Mm. Whatever I was expecting, it wasn't this. There's no jello in here, just the dark arts. Oh. Hmm. Taste is good. It's like Christmas, but it's unpleasantly slimy. Bizarre. Potato chip cookies from 76. Now sweet and salty things aren't anything new. You have classics like PB&J, chicken and waffles, fake friends, your in-laws. But this is crazy. One cup of butter, a cup and a quarter of sugar, cream. No, that would be very indecent. Butter go butter. Aren't you fluffy? Two eggy teaspoon of vanilla. <laughs> Now's when we smash eight ounces of potato chips. Mm. Goodbye. Look who's fallen from grace. Shame. Two cups of flour. Three teaspoons of fluff powder. <laughs> Now in goes half of the potato chips and a cup of chocolate chips. Oh, that's crunchy. Chill time. We're going to roll the dough in the potato chips. <laughs> You're insane. 15 minutes at 3.50. Hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the potatoes, a whole bag of potato chips. It's phenomenal. Wow. A date cream from 55. Now, if you've never had a date before, I'm sorry. You must be very lonely. But this is what they look like, and now you're looking at two fruits. We need one cup chopped. Very sticky. And this, gentlemen, is what happens when we get old. A cup of sugar. Quarter cup of cornstarch. Quarter cup of moo juice. What are we making, glue? Two cups of scalded milk. Ha! Ah! Mm. Boil vigorously. Mm. Now we cook for 10 minutes over a double boiler. No clue. I've never made a date cream before. I've never cooked a date cream before. The yolks of three eggs. Temper first. Get in. Mix. Cool it down with three tablespoons of butter. The dates. Nilla. To the fridge. Good evening. It's dark. This is solid. Hello? Whoa. Whoa. What? This is blowing my mind. This tastes amazing. But I am more astounded as to how we ended up with ice cream in the fridge. A soured raisin pie from the Second World War. Now I know this is gonna be awful because it calls for soured milk, not buttermilk, not milk and vinegar, no honey. Soured bad milk! Oh, she thick! The raisins! Use butter pastry for flavor. Flavor! Three, two, one! Blast 
jerked off to the toilet a cup of sour cream. Disgusting wasn't enough for you. Call the UN. Add spices. Thanks for that. What goes well with IBS? Brown sugar. Smells like Normandy. Charming. Bake until done. You're a piece of work. Goodbye. <laughs> the pothole. I should have gone to church. Ah. Oh, oh. No, no, no. <laughs> Tastes like a shower drain or a bunion. Potato candy from the Great Depression. Just like my relationships, candy is inevitably unhealthy. So potato seems a peculiar addition. Peel and boil one russet. Ah! This recipe only has three ingredients, so I'm a bit scared. Your time has come. <laughs> Add eight to 10 cups of powdered sugar. Cups? Cups? Eight is the low end. There shouldn't be eight to 10 cups of anything. This is poundage of sugar. Um, the potatoes are gone. It's turned to liquid. Are you a sorcerer? So much powder. Reminds me of my summers in Colombia. We literally now have a dough, which we're gonna roll out. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This potato. <laughs> Jar of peanut butter. <laughs> Every turn in this recipe has been a left. Come on. This feels familiar. To the fridge. Well. <laughs> Bustin. It's good. I'll be damned. A peanut pie from 1941. Courtesy of the Caro Kid, who I can only describe as an infant male escort. Ready? Work with me here. <laughs> you need a haircut. Any big plans for the weekend? Whole cup of Caro. A cup of sugar. So you want sugar with your sugar. Diabetes go boom. Eggy. Eggy shell. You didn't see anything. Margarine. Vanilla. Eight ounces of peanuts. Mm -hmm. All right. Stop looking at me. Avast. Oh God. What have you done? Oh. Demon baby. What did I do? It tastes like crunchy diesel. A tomato soup cake from 1950. Ah! What's the difference between margarine and shortening? The amount of time spent on the toilet. You need reinforcements. Sugar in a carton. Ah! Creamy. Sift your flour three times. Lady, your cake has tomato soup in it. This is the least of your worries. Clove, cinnamon, and nutmeg. With the soup. Can't hide from me. I wish you could. Bloop. Simming him? No, no, no. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, that lady Carol is at the barbecue again. Careful not to overmix. Sorry, I'm just trying to kill it. it. Smells like a hospital. Tomato spice. If pumpkin spice got hit by a bus. At least it's not moving. Icing. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Doesn't taste like tomato. Tastes like chocolate. A Watergate salad from 1976. One of the many questionable substances people experimented with in the 70s. Pistachio pudding. In you go. <laughs> Crushed pineapple. Hello, you have any green, sir. Cup of fluffy boys. Smells like a Palm Springs retirement home. Time to beat it. Cooperate. <laughs> Perfect. Good night. Optional walnuts. Walnuts are never optional. Oh my. Nixon wished it was this easy. Cheers. Ooh. Yep. Nixon would have loved this. It's not bad, it's just a cup of diabetes. I can feel my teeth rotting. A chocolate mayonnaise cake from 56. This has been my most requested cake. Of course it's the mayonnaise. Flour! Sugar! Floofers! Today you will rise! Potted cuckoo! Why she smells like chocolate? Mayonnaise! And it's not just a little bit. No, no, it's a severe, unauthorized cup of mayonnaise. Cup of water. Honey, you can't dilute a war crime. You know, it's horrible now, but I hope it turns out okay. Like children. I'm sending you to summer camp. <laughs> For the frosting, we boil milk, sugar, cocoa, and margarine. Fire! Beat in mayonnaise to the chocolate. Do you keep it in your purse? Hello. Maybe if I just don't think about it. Good heavens. Holy fuck. Fantastically moist. The chocolate is tangy. I'll concede you were right. A 7-Up Jello salad from 63. Let me tell you, this recipe... <laughs> Cream cheese. Gotta get you fluffy. Half a cup of mayo. This went downhill pretty quick. Water. Fire. Lime jello. More like crime jello. It's like reading directions to purgatory. Whoop. Star of the show. Now we have carbonated mayonnaise lime water. Don't ask me how it smells. Gotta chill. Pineapple and maraschinos. Everything's so sticky. Okay. Cool whip. One, two. Marshmallows. With the mayo. Walnuts. Unholy. See you later. Good morning. Woo. <laughs> There's so much going on!
Sorry, I can't say it's bad. It tastes like aggressively sweet fruit salad put into lime gelato. That doesn't make any of this okay. A carrot pie from 1919. Before pumpkin pie became king, people ate this. Now they're dead. Pound of carrots. Reloading! I just love this. Water! Fire! Time for pastry! Welcome to the world. It's awful. Get in, please. Get in the pan. Get in! Moo juice! Only a half cup of sugar. It's time for some eggy finger! Simonim! Time's up! Uh. Combine all ingredients except for pie shell. Were you really worried that I was gonna mix in a fully constructed pie shell into this? I'm a fool, not an idiot. This is frighteningly liquid! Who are you? Hmm. Fascinating. Hold on. It's a pumpkin pie imposter. Bit chewier, but elsewise lovely. A vinegar pie from the Great Depression. A modern take on home baking. Sir, your phone number is four digits. Pastry. This is my son. Get a little bit dusty. Meow. You're gonna want a deep nine inch. Don't we all? Blind bake at 350. <laughs> Eggy! No, officer, there's no shell in here. Sugar! Add your Paula Deen extract. So far, so good. Vinegar! I take it back. Thank you, wakey, time for school! A dash of sorghum! Well, I don't have sorghum, because I don't have a life expectancy of 12. Ooh, that's the power of pine salt, baby! For thine is the kingdom. Bake to your liking. Sweetie, none of this is my liking. Don't come back. It came back. Nah. Uh, heaven! This is what I'd imagine a toilet brush to taste like. A chocolate potato cake from 1912. This is why we don't perform lobotomies anymore. Boil a potato. Did I mention this was a cake? Skin stay on, unlike Americans. Fire! Cream the butter. Can we at least have coffee first? Butter go boom. Should be a pale white. Eggy. Wakey, wakey. Who's tough now? Moo juice. Bloop. Simonim. Chocolate. I bet this recipe is just all the wrong answers on a baking test. Mm -hmm. Smells like dentures. Go away. Goodbye. For the icing, we boil butter, sugar, milk, and chocolate. My time has come. Not bad, dead people. All right. <laughs> You're not supposed to work. It's incredible, and I'm mad about it.